Hello, my name is Alexander Isles and I run Isles Tours. Today we're going to talk about the Granger Town and the Granger Town in many ways is one of the best examples of Georgian architecture in Britain today and it's also one of the largest urban centres in Britain to be named after a single person and it's actually down to the entrepreneurial spirit of Richard Granger. So Richard Granger actually started off from a very meagre background in Newcastle like many of Newcastle's sons and he was actually born in what is today Chinatown in Newcastle. Now his family background was quite different to many entrepreneurs because his father was a quayside porter and would carry goods from the quayside up into the upper parts of town into the markets while his mother was actually a seamstress and she would work making clothes for people in Newcastle. He was also the youngest of six children and so when he was growing up his parents managed to get him an apprenticeship and he worked as a carpenter. Now while he was very young his father died of exhaustion and when his father died, his mother stepped up her business to actually provide clothes and gloves to people in Newcastle. While he was doing his apprenticeship in carpentry, his master noticed that he had an amazing skill for art and fast-tracked him onto a course for architecture. And when he was 20 years old and finished, he joined with his brother and they formed a building company, quickly redeveloping their mum's house and looking after their brothers and sisters. He was quickly noticed by the Quaker and Methodist elite of Newcastle and was commissioned by William Batson to actually build High and Place in Newcastle. Alongside this, he now married into another family which was very powerful in Newcastle called the Arundales and his wife Rachel's dowry of £5,000 enabled him to expand and develop the business. When he was building the Granger Town, what really made Richard Granger was actually his friendship with John Clayton and also the ability of John Dobson who was the North East's best architect. So with John Dobson developing and designing the Granger Town and John Clayton actually financing and giving the political contacts the Granger Town was a huge success. It also contained the Granger Market, which at the time was the largest market in Western Europe and was revolutionary in many ways for bringing all of these different markets under one roof. Alongside this, they also built the Theatre Royal. Another reason for the brilliance of the Granger Town was the fact that it had a purposefully designed sewer system and toilets built into it, which actually meant that many of the diseases that affected this period of time around the 1830s didn't affect the Granger Town as much as it affected other parts of Newcastle. And so this revolutionary new invention of toilets and sewer systems being built into this purpose-built new town was actually a great step forwards. Now when Richard Granger died in 1861, his estate was only worth £17,000 and he was in debt to the tune of £128,000. So he wasn't actually considered to be very successful at the time he died. But within 40 years of his death, the Granger estate was worth £1.2 million in old money. Now over the course of history with the industrialisation and the huge amounts of pollution here in Newcastle, the Granger town was actually quite dilapidated and was very heavily polluted and many of the buildings were in a poor state of repair. So in the 1990s they raised £173 million worth of lottery funded money and they refurbished every single one of the buildings in the Granger Town. So when you look around the Granger Town today you can see how many of the buildings now are businesses, shops, accommodation and it shows how Newcastle today has been revitalised. We hope we've been able to show you something new about the Granger Town and also something new about Newcastle and that you've enjoyed it. Please like, favour and subscribe and share this with your friends and we look forward to seeing you on a tour in the near future. Just areas in any urban centre in Britain to be named after one man. I know, so I probably bricked myself when I saw you guys pulling up. I was just like, oh God. <laughs>